Hi candle makers and welcome back to the edition candle code channel. In this video I want to share with you how I'm typically printing out my candle labels for my tents and ember jars. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch more useful videos with candle making. Just want to interrupt you a little bit and show you that I have a digital products on my Etsy shop for all candle makers. I have a bunch of designs for wax melts labels and candle care cards as well as wax melt scare cards. These templates are so easy to use with your free Canva account. Also, if you're making a wax melt and you're looking for a mock-ups, I have a lot of mock-ups to choose from and I want to provide you with a 20% off discount so you can check my Etsy shop and the discount in the description down below. All of my labels I'm creating on canva.com so this is a website and also you can use their app. You can choose whatever is good for you but I prefer to working on a website. First I will show you how I'm making my candle labels for my 6 ounce tents. I'm creating a new design by selecting a custom size and don't forget to change to inch. My measurements of the label is 375 by 125 and we're creating a new design. First I'm changing my file name and then I'm just copying my brand logo. I know we all desperate these days for fall because it's so hot outside and we really want the fall to come. <laughs> so I'm bringing the fall design to my label today and that will be the pumpkin marshmallow. For all of my text on my labels, I use a, a Koshi, I don't know how to pronounce it, a Koshi Durga font. This is really kind of simple and aesthetic and minimalistic font, so I'm really enjoying to use it. And I'm just playing around with the font. In the element section, you have that kind of a line, just simple line that I really like to use on my descriptions. I prefer that kind of really tiny line and I'm changing the color of this line for some kind of a color of a pumpkin. Also I'm including on my labels the collection. So this will be the fall collection. And that's the second font that I use. It's called Catchy Meyer or Mager. It brings something mystical and magical to the font so I really like it. And between the words fall and collection, I like to use some kind of elements. I'm searching for a fall leaf and you have a lot of options to choose from. You just need to make sure that you're not using the elements with the crown icon because it's for a Canva Pro version. But you have a lot of elements and graphics to choose for free. Near my candle description, I like to use the top, middle and bottom notes. It's really nice to provide your candle label with this information. While you're designing your candle label, don't forget to add that tiny information and that's the weight of your candle. I'm using both grams and ounces for everybody to understand and that's the only weight of your candle and wicks and fragrance all together. So it's not actually the total weight of your candle, it's only what it contains. Now you have to provide your buyers with what kind of candle they're buying so it will be soy blend candle or maybe coconut or paraffin or whatever you're using. Also I'm adding that it's a hand poured because it's handmade candle. Now you can add your additional information so I'm adding that my candle is cruelty free and vegan. I'm changing a little bit of my letter spacing for my collection board. I think it looks better when it's long enough. Now is my favorite part to search for a pumpkin 
you have a lot of options as you can see you have that kind of scary pumpkin and really beautiful pumpkin i was able to find really cute and beautiful pumpkin that pumpkin was provided with a color changing setting so that's really cool if you want to change the colors the color of the pumpkin was a little bit different from my leaves so i changed the color of my leaf because I wanted them to be identical. I think even though this label is so simple and there is nothing like something fancy and luxury, it provides a lot of fall vibes and really cozy feeling. I'm really obsessed with this design and because this design was so simple, it took me only 20 minutes to just edit it and download. After you're happy with your label design, you're clicking on share, then you want to choose to download as PDF print file because that is the best quality for for printing. Now we're about to designing a new candle label for my ember jars. That will be the same design but it will have a different measurements. The measurements of this label is 2.675 by 2 inch. I'm duplicating my page so it will be so easy to just copy and paste. The amber label's design is a little bit different from my tents. It's really nice when you're having a lot of candles and different labels measurements. So once you're making a design for one type of your labels, you can just copy and paste for all of your labels. You will only need to adjust a little bit for your label measurements. And that's all. It's really simple and you just have to have fun. I will say that it can be hard for you to start with your first label design because you have to think what are the fonts that you're liking and what is working for you and what are the designs, what is the information you want to include. And also because there is a lot of elements, like thousands and thousands of them, you have to choose something that you like and something that is free. So I want to tell that it took me maybe a couple of days or weeks to just start with something that I like, then it will be more easier for you because you're just copying and paste everything and all of the information, only changing your elements and maybe if you're including your top, middle and bottom notes, you'll have to change it according to the candle specific scent. So that is my design for my amber jars. I'm really obsessed with the pumpkin marshmallow description. So this is the first thing that I like to see, the name of the candle which says pumpkin marshmallow. It's really something yummy and cozy and with fall vibes. So now again I'm downloading it as a PDF print. And now that's the interesting part, how I'm printing out my label. So I'm using the online labels.com. So this is actually the website where I'm buying all of my labels for all of my products and candles and wax melts. With every purchase, they're providing you with a code for one year to just editing and printing out your labels. So I already have my labels that I purchased. And that's so easy because you're able to just upload your new image, so that's your PDF file of your label design. You're dragging your label. Also, they have really easy position settings, so you, you're just pressing on middle and center and that is perfectly centering your label. Don't forget to save your design, you can save it to all designs or the sections that you made. So now because I'm printing out this label only for testing purposes and only for this video, I don't want to print it on all of my 12 labels that I have. So you're simply clicking on edit layout and here you can choose on what labels you will put a design and what will be the blank. Also you can choose to show your artwork so you can understand and really where is your labels located but I will use only one and I'm making update late when you want to print your label you're clicking on print labels and then you're choosing open directly from your browser then it opens some kind of a window for printing out You're just clicking on printing, more settings and opening the print using system dialog. So here I just made for myself a preset setting. So every time I'm printing out my labels, I'm using my custom preset. Now you can just look and use all of my settings 
and if you are using the same paper as mine, so it's like a made weatherproof label, the main thing that you want to change, just change the paper type for a photo glossy paper. I found that this prevents from smudging and that is really important because I'm using only inkjet printer. It looks quite professional for my opinion. All of the text and graphics are really clear and having really nice colors, so I'm really happy with it. Despite the fact that this is inkjet printer and I'm printing only at home, it prints out really nice and high quality labels, but I'm really not recommend for you to buy this kind of inkjet printer because I had a lot of problems with him. Now I'm using the template for my ember jars label. We're just making pretty much the same, uploading the image, your PDF file, grabbing the design to the the label template and using the position to make it centered and in the middle. So once you're making all of your settings for your printing, it will be so easy and quick process to print out your labels. You're just choosing a print using system dialog and using your presets which you can call whatever you want and making a print. That's really quick and easy process. It takes me, I think, maybe less than a minute. Now my label came and as you can see it has a lot of problems. I don't know if you can notice but I have a lot of like red or pink lines under my text and the full collection text it's like missing some parts of the letters which I don't like. Just had to make a lot of settings for improving printing quality and everything. So yeah, I'll recommend to you to invest in the laser printer. Also, I didn't like the line on the bottom, so I tried to change it to thin line. And after everything, you can compare and maybe you will notice that the final label design is really good quality for now. Finally, at the end of this video, I want to show you how I'm putting the labels on my candles without having air bubbles. If you're having the same ember jar as mine, you will notice a tiny connected lines from both sides and you really want to make sure not putting your label on this line because it will show. But you're just fighting the right spot on the center. First you're sticking only the center part of your label and then try to look from all of the sides if it's normal and centered well. After that, I don't know how to say it but I'm um, pushing and sliding on my label with my fingers from the center to one side and then to another side. So that's where you're preventing air bubbles to come. You just need to try to stick your label a couple of times and you will understand how easy it can be to just make it this way. Now you can see that it's perfectly centered. Maybe it can be slightly off the center, but we're not robots. We're human and it's a handmade product, so don't be stressed out because of that. And look how cute this pumpkin marshmallow candle looks like. I really want to make it just for myself. And now with the tents, we have just a little bit of a problem. We have two weeks. If you're having two weeks, you just have to make sure that it's centered well. Just try to stick your label as parallel as you can to your wicks. I'm doing the same technique with sliding my fingers from one side to another side and that can take really a lot of practice but we all humans and I'm the regular candle maker as you so if I can make it you can make it too just a little bit of a motivation for you thank you for watching my video I hope that video was useful for you and I wish you all have a success with creating your first label designs have a peaceful and productive day and I will see you in my next video